Lawmakers in Georgia are drafting a new book bill to ban sexually explicit literature for sixth graders and younger and restrict them for seventh grade and above. Our Xavier Walton has been following this story, joins us live. Xavier, how close is this legislation to becoming law? Well, Mark, these proposals certainly uh, have a way to go. They have some hurdles ahead, but Georgia lawmakers now entering the nationwide chat when it comes to deciding, you know, what books are on shelves, uh, at least for your children, and what are available uh, for your children in schools inside of the libraries. Um, in one of those proposals, uh, school librarians could face cha charges, excuse me, if the book is considered obscene. Another proposal would allow parents to opt into email notifications on what library books their child actually checks out. Georgia Senator is also considering another proposed bill that would force all public libraries as well as school libraries to cut ties with the American Library Association. Now, the ALA is responding to this, saying they strongly oppose these proposed Georgia legislations, in part saying all organizations should be concerned about this arbitrary effort to restrict the freedom of trade, speech, and freedom to associate. All right, so Georgia could be joining a growing list of conservative states that have, that have severed ties with the ALA, states like Alabama, Wyoming, Texas, and Florida, uh, where we are this morning, just to name a few. But taking a look at the big picture, less than two months into the year, lawmakers in at least 13 states have proposed some sort of legislation that targets library services um, and go after certain materials. This follows a record-setting year for book bans on titles centered on topics like race, gender, identity, or sexual orientation. But Marky, as far as these proposals go out of Georgia, something to watch out for, there's a deadline next week. And if these uh, measures don't make it out of their respective committees, um, they're going to they're going to die before really getting taken off. OK, we'll see what happens next week. Then Xavier Walton, thanks so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.